So these are ERA 380 watt mono standard panels. They know they have cut panels. So I'm not going all out because it's costing me quite a bit of money to do this. So I have eight of them that will be going on the roof hopefully on Monday. And then uh, these are the rails. Those are the rails. The rails sit on an L foot. The L foot looks something like this. So this one goes into the roof of the house and then the rails sit right here. So that's how we secure and then the panels sit on top of the rails and then we have um, mid clamps that secure them onto the rail. If you notice you see there are grooves. So that's how I put them in. So, I'm going to post this video today or tomorrow depending on my new internet provider and then on Monday I'll post a video showing you this doing what we think you should do. So once again this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. If you've not subscribed please click the subscribe button if you like what you see. Do give us a thumbs up. Once again thank you. Hello YouTube Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. So here is the team. As you see, they are dressed. They have a safety harness. Show me that. And even though we have a flat roof, uh, for safety purposes, once you're going to climb more than 10 feet, you're required to have what? Safety harness and and head protection. So and they're doing it. And because they're going to be dealing with how much, how many volts in electricity, they are also required to wear safety gloves. Takwa is just doing this for sure, don't mind him. He never wears it. He doesn't even wear shoes when he climbs up. Okay, well done, guys. So, okay, I'm back. As you can see, my guys are on the roof. And they are laying the rails, which look just like this one. And they will sit on an L foot that looks just like this so let me hold on let me okay that's better so this goes into the roof with a 36 inch nail and then this is what holds the rail as you can see it's adjustable that holds the rail is adjustable so this is on the roof we put um, it comes with rubber underneath but we also put flash band on the roof which is a sticky tar to prevent it from leaking and then the rail goes on that so they're going to finish doing that and then they're going to take eight 380 watt panels and place on the roof so where you see the individual with the blue hel helmet will run i believe five panels and where you see the individual with the yellow helmet will run three for a total of eight so let me go show you what we've done so far so to recap I got a 5 kilowatt PV inverter and we are going to do an AC couple solution. So we have AC and DC coupled. Um, AC couple means we have a PV inverter and the PV inverter will provide power from the panels, convert it into AC and send it into the house. And I'll show you how that's done. We explained it in a previous video, we'll explain it again. Um, the initial plan was to pull one string out of my DC system and plug it into the AC but I changed my mind and decided to splurge and I bought eight 380 watt ERA regular panels I didn't get the half cuts couldn't afford them so let me go inside let me go to the side and show you the PV um, inverter on the wall what I did the little problems we ran into and how I solved it and then I'll take you into the house to show you how the connection is going to come in. So here is a PV inverter. Let me see if I can get you a very good view of it. It's on the wall and the next person that comments about how ugly my wall looks, we will get a big fat one. Okay, so here it goes. Um, we put this on the wall on Friday and that's where we got stuck. Why did we get stuck? One, this connector is a waterproof AC connector so I have three wires are uh, L N and E and it's waterproof my guys when they put one of the cables in they realized the color didn't match and then they tried pulling it out and sadly um, they'd stripped the Allen key the Allen bolt so I had to get a specialized Allen key 
to unlock it and that happened a day later and then I built the cable and I put it on so that's number one as you can see we've ground it um, let me see if I can get close enough yes you can see that so we've ground it and we run it into the DC ground which is the one that runs into an earth rod that's on the floor there and then our PV will come in through this combiner box and then go in here so there's going to be our breakers and our um, lightning protection in there and it's going to go from here to here we're only using one string and we're putting a little over 3000 watts on it I'll take you inside and show you what happens from here into the house into the other inverter so give me a second and I'll go in and I'll show you what happens okay I am back sorry for the poor lighting but I'm doing the best I can so on here is the gen we have a generator connected in so we'll remove it and we'll bring these three wires that are coming from our three coming from our PV inverter and then once that's set up uh, right now as you can see my batteries are 69 percent um, 2500 watts going into it into it from the panels and I have 2935 coming from my panels let me see if my BMS is limiting nope my BMS is allowing me to put 100 amps so once that's ready we'll go in here gen port use and then we'll select micro inverter input and then it comes on when the battery is at 95 percent and goes off when the battery is at 100 percent let me see if you can see that so hopefully within the next hour or two we'll be able to do this and we can show you um, our PV inverter in action you can hear the fan it doesn't come on often enough but when it comes on it's very loud and it seems to be it seems to happen more often when I remove the cover when the cover is not here it doesn't run as much but when the cover is on it doesn't run as much but once I remove the cover the fan seems to trigger a whole lot more frequently than when it's covered hello YouTube Dr. Sola coming to you from my noisy rooftop so these are as you see my original set of panels 7 by 400 I want that last one, the 300 power something, something else. And then I have a bunch of these. Um, 8 by 250. And as you can see, the new ones, you can see how new they look. That's the most recent set we just did. So it's still work in progress. You can see we've not tightened up the cables. We've not cleaned up behind ourselves yet. So I had to get additional panels. Now to make this make this succeed for me, so I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. In addition to what I already have, so I need to clean. I need to clean this. I'll send someone up to come and clean it with a mop. So it looks good. So let me see if I get you a different angle without breaking my head or something. So we also went in and removed all these excess cables we have. We have a lot of excess cables, so we're removing them because they're not serving any purpose. So let me see. Here's a different angle. So you can see the 250 watt panels. And then you can see the 380 watt panels, the size differential. So now I have a roof that's almost completely covered in solar panels. So hopefully by tomorrow we'll be able to connect this and show you our AC coupled solution running off the panels that are all the way at the end over there. So I'll give you an idea of elevation. So here are connections. So this, the three wires, the red, the black, and the green, are input from the PV inverter into the generator port. And then on this side, we have our grid and our load. And then we're putting a breaker 
This breaker is for the PV is for what's coming in from the PV outside PV inverter into our generator port. So we spent three days on this and we're not we are almost close. The panels are up. All that's left are the connections. All the cables have been run. Just finished the connections on the roof and we're ready to go. So a couple of major differences or minor differences on the PV inverter versus the standard inverter. One, this plate remains and I see the plate has a has rubber to secure the seal whereas the other one you can remove this and they're not concerned and then two the pins in here are very solid um, aluminum pins um, they're actually very very solid aluminum pins they're not as poor as what they supply us for the regular inverters so there seems to be a huge concern as to what they provide pin wise and also they recommend 6 mm, 6 mm, 6 mm, 6 mm cabling now here is something we see on DC2, two plus signs. If you know what that extra plus sign is, please let us know, okay? Um, we are almost ready to go. Put the... So let's see what voltage we are getting from our PV. What voltage are we seeing? 350. 350.2 is what we are seeing right now. So we are going to go and energize the... We are going to go do the... Um, the other, <coughs> the other inverter to start um, forming the grid for this one, and then we'll turn this one on. So our AC output breaker is on. We're going to label it so no, we know which is which. One is for the load, and one is for the grid. Um, we're going to go on here now, and we're going to go into Gen Port use micro inverter. Turn that on and wait for it to come on here. Let me make sure I did that right. Yep, done. So now I just turned on. So let's go outside and see if it did anything to invert the outside. So right now um, we're feeding to our other inverter. Let's go inside and check and see what's going on. So grid 230, frequency 50, uh, PV2 288, and we're doing 1,182, 1,201. So that's going to keep fluctuating till the day. So as you could see, it's doing what it's supposed to do. 1,217 of 1,217, 2,930 is going to the batteries while our panels are producing 2,130 and we, ha we have um, our load is 0 0.280 so let's go load it let's put the AC on and let's see what happens so I'm pretty psyched actually, I'm very very psyched so right now we're putting 59 amps into the batteries between this is actually easier than I expected it to be it's not showing AC though, we thought it would show AC but it's not showing AC it's just showing, showing something different and you can see what's coming in from uh, what do you call it? Uh, PV inverter. So this will go on till it gets to 100%. Once it gets to 100%, it'll dial that number down. So between everything we're producing right now, 3,400 3, watts between out of 8,000. That's really pathetic, but hey, I'll take it, okay? So what it's doing is from our PV inverter, is going to our battery and going to our load. Pretty exciting. The grid is showing zero, as you could see. We're not buying anything from the grid. Um, line one, 220 volts, power 957. Oh, that's how much we're consuming. We're consuming 957 right now? Nope, 279. So 2960, I have no clue what this is. I have no clue what that is. When I figure it out, I, I will explain. But right now, it's doing what it's supposed to do. Now, we're going to go figure out how to program the other one so it works well. It's using standard programming right now. I'm excited. I'm really excited. Okay, I spoke all that time. You didn't recall. So let me do this again. So let me show you. If you look at the display, you see uh, DC, AC, and normal. So the DC is coming from a PV 
AC is coming from the inverter inside. The AC, inverter inside is forming the grid. So we have an island. This has done this um, island thing where something tells it that it's the grid. So that inverter forms the grid and then this supplies power to that inverter and it uses it to either char to charge the battery and power the loads. That's what it's doing right now. Um, we kind of a little let down because we expected this to be a whole lot more complicated. It's really very easy. Uh, they made it, um, <laughs> it's no brain power involved. What, what, is, what did we do? We put three kilowatts of PV on the roof. We connected it to string two. And then we did our AC connection from here into the five kilowatt day hybrid. And the five kilowatt day hybrid is what's forming the grid that allows this inverter to work. Mind blowing. So let me show you through different screens. Right now it shows you normal. That's what's coming from the panels. Um, total DC power 1238. That will keep changing as the day progresses. What time is it right now? Um, PV1, there's nothing on PV1. PV2 is what's showing 292.9, 4.2 amps and 1240 watts coming from it. Um, grid, which is what I inverted inside. I inverted inside as you can see, it continues to vary the frequency. Uh, the grid is pushing out 223 at 5.3 amps and 50 hertz, 50.1 hertz. So that inverter inside will continue to vary the frequency. That's the frequency shift that we talk about to prevent this inverter from blowing up when it produces more power than it needs to produce. So let's go inside and see. We have two ACs running at maximum power and we'll see the effect this has on that. So, so far we've only done um, 100 watt hours for the day and this number will keep tallying till we get our totals for the, for our totals for the day. We'll be changing, the date is correct but the time isn't correct, we'll change that. And here is the main screen showing you power normal, your DC, your AC and normal mode and no alarms. Okay YouTube, I'm back. So as you could see right now, our... Um, PV inverter is pushing 1,267. Our panels on our roof are, push, are pushing 2,130. Our batteries are getting 1,380. Our load is 2,000 watts. So right now, 2,006 is what we're what we are pulling from the system. Uh, 2,000 watts is what we are getting from our PV and 1,335. I know if you do the math, right, it doesn't quite add up because, actually it does, 3,300. 2,000, yep, it does add up, 3,300, because here is 1,229, 2,009, and 1,320, so that number adds up. If you add 2.09 to 1,300, it's 3,300. So our load right now is two, if you add our load 2,001, to our charge, what we're putting into the battery, 1,000, so we're at 3,000, yeah, so it's correct. So, so far, so good. I'm hoping to see better numbers from this one. Maybe when we adjust the settings, we'll see better numbers because we have 3,000 watts in panels on that. So I'm pretty psyched. I'm very, very excited that this was much easier than I expected it to be. So I'll do a summary video as to everything we did another day so that if you want to try this, you see how easy it is to do it. Once again, this is Dr. Sola coming to you from Lagos, Nigeria. If you like what you see, please give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button and share this video because the more people that see it, uh, the more content I could provide and hopefully eventually I'll get some money from doing this. By the way, FYI, a disclaimer, a disclaimer, I paid for all the equipment that you see. They did not provide any of them. I purchased this inverter myself. I purchased the one you saw earlier myself. They did not contribute a dime. So this is all me on my time, on my money. Thank you for watching.